Hello, this is Lydia and Andy. We recently had the chance to visit Copenhagen and wanted to give you all just a quick trip report, I suppose. We left Washington Dulles International Airport and had a direct flight on SAS Airlines into Copenhagen. We elected to get a rental car because we were driving on to meet my mom in Germany. I would have done this differently now knowing how well the metro works in Copenhagen. There really is absolutely no car needed there. Since we had some time to kill we visited a few of the um, sites near the airport so in that regard it was good to have access to a car but we ended up having to pay parking for the vehicle and also obviously the um, rental fees for three extra days so lesson learned there our hotel was in the outskirts of Copenhagen a little suburb called Orestad. It's the Sleep Hotel. It was nice, nothing fancy. The hotel was very convenient to the metro stop. The entire area had some interesting architecture. It had a great big grocery store called Fields. And we elected to get the Copenhagen card. With this card it gives you free access to the metro and then also various attractions, museums and sites. It does include a river boat cruise which was very nice. Um, one word of caution, although the Copenhagen card grants you access to Tivoli Gardens, it does not include any rides. So you may want to consider adding a ride package if that is something that you're interested in. Tivoli Gardens is the second oldest amusement park in the world and has been open since 1843. We also treated ourselves to a quick dinner at the Tivity Food Hall and yeah, thought it was a bit overpriced, but it was good. We went to Nyhaven on multiple occasions during our stay found that we really liked the atmosphere a lot. Often we would bring in a picnic and a couple of beers and just sit by the seawall and watch the world go by. This is just an absolutely fantastic place. Make sure you allow some time to visit here.
So while visiting here in Copenhagen, we also decided to get some Danishes. We went to three different bakeries, Hearts, Juno's and Anderson's, and tasted various Danishes that they had to offer. And yeah, I don't think we walked away having a favorite. They were all wonderful. I highly recommend you do this as well. Mm, more good stuff. Getting some more pastries. Pretty much after every visit to these bakeries, we ended up walking to a certain location and here we have the round tower this was a very interesting site and um, they also featured a dances with wolves exhibit and it was all about canines and wolves and yeah it was actually pretty interesting We decided to visit Rosenberg Castle and as a heads up when using the Copenhagen card you will need to make an appointment of the particular hours that you wish to visit the castle. Very easily done but uh, just giving you a heads up. We took a stroll through Freetown Christiana, which is essentially a bunch of folks that began squatting on an old military base. There's about a thousand inhabitants there. Yeah, interesting place. The Copenhagen card also gives you access to a boat tour. So we did that, we applied some sunscreen and took some time off from walking and just enjoyed the views of Copenhagen from the water. We were amazed of how many people were swimming and sunbathing. Apparently the summer had been super rainy so this weather that they were having in September was just phenomenal and everybody was out and enjoying it.
After three days in Copenhagen, we loaded up the car and took the scenic route down to Getzer. If you liked this video at all, found any useful information, please consider liking and subscribing. We had plenty of time to scout out the area in and around Genser. We treated ourselves to a beer and then were treated to another round by this local gentleman named Ken. It was his birthday. So that was fun. We then queued up at the ferry terminal for the car ferry and waited our turn to board and head to Rostock, Germany.